Thank you. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. I was recently asked the question, what does being Jewish mean to you? Being Jewish means having comfort in times of need. My family experienced a series of losses about three years ago that left us in need of this congregation support. But the rabbi, cantor, and congregation has stepped up to the plate and been there all the way through. On June 17th of 2016, my father passed away. When my mother came into our, house, our friend's house to tell me, Cantor was right behind her, showing her love and support, making time in her day to just sit with us, knowing that she could do nothing that could take away our pain. At his funeral, the rabbi shared many kind words that encompassed my father, despite having only met him a handful of times. He managed to encompass the spirit from the memories that my mom and I told the night before the funeral. Even more, he gave me comfort throughout the funeral. The first way is through his explanation of the dragonflies at the cemetery. He explained that the dragonflies were to carry off the souls of the dead. And in that moment, a single dragonfly flew right in front of me. I cannot thank him enough for the support he provided and how much comfort that that gave our family. Every night, members of the congregation came to sit shiva with us and bring us dinner. My best friends, Megan and Emily, were there and they came the night that we needed them most to make sure that we hit Minyan to say the mourner's cottage and they forced their entire family to come all in their pajamas. <laughs> Now, in November of that year, my, my grandmother passed away. Many of my fellow choir members showed up at my grandmother's funeral. My grandma didn't have many friends in Florida because she had recently moved from Texas, but the kindness of my choir members filled the room with joy for the wonderful life that my grandmother lived. Everyone in choir made sure that year to get me a cake and a card for my birthday during the next practice. This showed me that what it meant to be Jewish was being able to rely on those in your community. I learned above all else, being Jewish is being there for others. So I have searched for ways to give back to the community. I've been involved with the horse rescue for a number of years I have helped with harvest drives in my school, feeding over 100 families, and recently I ran a summer camp for a single day being a counselor for underprivileged kids. It is because that so many of the people in this community gave me the support when I needed it that I, I am able to pass it on to those who need it. According to Torah, Torah law, a person's Jewishness is not a matter of lifestyle or self-perception. One may be totally unaware of one's Jewishness and still be a Jew, or one may consider himself Jewish and above all the precepts of the Torah and still not be a Jew. Being a Jew is in the actions of my friends dragging their parents in their pajamas to come. Being Jewish is my choir members drive to help me and be there for me and my grandfather, my grandmother. <laughs> Being Jewish is rabbi making sure that he gave my family comfort in their time of need. Being a Jew is more than just going to temple or having your mother be Jewish. Being a Jew is realizing and following its both. Thank you.